Hey everyone, it's Fresh Monica here. Now today in my Mac tutorial, I am going to demonstrate to you what I think is the best video converting application for the Mac, and it is the video converter made by the company Wondershare. Now uh, you can get this app in the Mac apps. Now I believe it's retailing right now for I believe something like fifteen or sixteen dollars, which is uh, like ten ten pounds, I think. I, I I really can't remember, but uh, it's 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 on the Mac App Store. I'd I recommend you download it from there because you get all the free updates. But um, enough about how it retails. This right here is the video converter window. You can see you've got the media files area right here, the playback here, a little couple of buttons there, big convert button, and then all the options up here. Now the reason that I think this is the best video converter on the market, despite its price, which um, I think normal retail value is forty dollars, which I think is twenty five pounds, which is a, a little bit pricey. Um, it has the most options by far, and you can customize it how you want. So, if I very quickly uh, go to File, Import, and then Add a Video File, you can also add audio files, which is very handy. Uh, let's get one of my piano. Let's bring in this one right here, the, the last piano cover that I uploaded. Please go watch it if you haven't. All right, here you can see it comes up in the window. It's got its name, its uh, duration, it's got the file size, the audio info. Uh, whether it's got subtitles or not, the preset that you're going to export at, and then this edit button right here. Now the reason that I say this has got the most options is because not only can you customize all the video settings, right here I've got a customized um, preset called YouTube 640x480 at a resolution of 640x480, 30 frames per second, blah blah blah. Not only do I think um, that it's good because of those customization options, but you can also make basic edits to your videos. So you can trim it if you uh, want to uh, select part of the video. You can't hear the computer audio because I'm not recording the computer audio for this recording. If you uh, click this um, scissors button right here, you can select a range that you want to take out of the video. Let's say you wanted to take out the first 10 seconds of the video. You would then click uh, delete current trim section and then it would disappear. Then it's got cropping, video adjustments, subtitles, and you can add a watermark as well if you want. So that's basically, I think, um, one of the uh, more advanced features of this video converter and why I think it is the best video converter on the market. And right down here, it'll uh, also estimate the uh, total size of the video based on the preset that you've chosen and the length of the video. So um, now we're just going to click Convert. There we go. It's finished converting. One task has been finished. It would play a sound, but I haven't recorded it. Uh, in this recording. So right here it comes out as an mp4 file, the mov file right here, and then the mp4 file right here. That's 10 seconds long, only 3 megabytes in size. It's very, very, uh, it's got a very, very low file size, but it also retains some really, really good quality. As you can see right there, looks smooth, very clear, there's no, um, you know, there's no blurriness to it, it's not pixelated. So um, yeah, that's just a quick demonstration of Wondershare Video Converter, which is, in my opinion, the best video converter for the Mac that is available right now. Thanks very much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more awesome content coming your way each and every week. And until my next video, goodbye.